Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and when if using FRSky R9 radio system your radio from time to time screams telemetry lost, this is the video for you. Before we will go into details and not to force you to watch the whole video, should you be worried when your Taranis or Horus or anything else screams telemetry lost? It depends. It depends how often it's happening. If it's happening like once every few flights and then it settles down, then probably you really have nothing to worry about because this is how the radio system are working. There is uplink and there is downlink and the transmitter is working as a transmitter when it's transmitting your radio signal, the, the value of the sw sticks and switches to the receiver and then there is receiver that sends back the telemetry. Of course, based on the antenna placement range and other situation in the air that's happening between the transmitter and the receiver, the signal might just get through or not get through. If it's really like happening from time to time, then really there is probably nothing to worry about. Signals, radio signals from time to time are not getting when they are supposed to be getting and just the radio when it did not receive a telemetry for a long enough period it just informs you about that yeah something went wrong but it then if settles absolutely nothing to worry about if however it's happening on a slightly more notorious way like almost every flight even at the close range and it's like it can s tell you telemetry lost telemetry recovered telemetry lost telemetry recovers and yes probably you should be worried and you should find the reason why this is happening today today i will show you possible causes of such a situation and uh, but the, the real solution the real solution is really up to you so let's begin the first thing to realize is that also the receiver which is the r9 mini i think and the transmitter which is r9 m 2000 17. Although they are based on more or less the same technology, their purpose is slightly, slightly different. The main purpose of this device is to provide an uplink, to send the position of the sticks and switches from your radio to the receiver. This is why this not only has the radio chipset that this thing also has, but this thing also has the power amplifier. The radio chipset over here, which is Semtech SX1279, has theoretical maximal output level of 100 milliwatts, but for the constant use it's limited to 25, and if the device wants to be really like, let's say, uh, European Union compliant, it, it has to limit the power even more to, let's say, 25 milliwatts. This is why this thing uh, can boost up the power even to 1 watt, which is 25 for 40 times more than this one. So it's kind of obvious that if you are really, 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 really far, the sooner you will lose the telemetry downlink from the receiver to the transmitter, than the RC channels uplink from the transmitter to the receiver. This is why if you are far uh, or at least let's say a few hundred meters somewhere in the sky every kilometer two four five it does not really matter and you low and you are from time to time losing the telemetry that means that the power on the receiver on the output line of the receiver is just not big enough there is not enough power for the radio signal to get from the receiver to the transmitter. This also might indicate that if you go like twice as far or something like that, uh, you also might be losing packets from the transmitter to the receiver, but this is not really like, it does not mean this yet. If you are far or behind the trees or buildings or anything like that, and from time to time you are losing telemetry, there is probably nothing to really worry about. If, however, 
Telemetry is really lost very often. Like the, the radio keeps going, telemetry lost, telemetry on, telemetry lost, telemetry on. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. It does not mean immediately that the quad or airplane will go into failsafe and fall from the sky, but it means that probably there is a problem somewhere somewhere here because it, it really it should not be happening what what are the possible causes the receiver might be damaged the receiver antenna might be damaged the transmitter antenna might be damaged the transmitter itself might be damaged or there is just so much statical noise on the frequencies that uh, it's just impossible for the receiver, for, for the transmitter to pick the signal from the transmitter. How do troubleshoot? What's really happening? The, probably the simplest really way to find out what is wrong is to find out what is wrong with antenna. If the antenna, just make the visual inspection of the antenna. If the antenna length is more or less correct, you can get the correct length of the antennas from different places, including my videos from last year. If it's not cheap, if it's not banded, the connector, really, the connector sits in the, in the, in the socket on the board and uh, you do not see any damage on the antenna, then that means that probably antenna is fine. The same goes for the transmitter antenna. Just make the inspection. If this is really like moving, the coax is moving, it's not bending, it's not uh, chipped. Th there is no loose connection anywhere. Just be sure that there is no really loose connection anywhere. Quite often, the shielding on the coax breaks somewhere here when it um, when it's when it goes into the sma connector this is very 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 common because because the shielding is working a lot when you play with the with the antenna and it stresses and it just at one point can break and the antenna without the properly connected shielding will start losing its uh, properties. I've lost one transmitter antenna because of that. Uh, I was very often bending antenna for transplantation and this introduced so much stress that although the signal, signal wire was still connected, the shielding was disconnected and which was really causing a lot of problems on different ranges with telemetry and rep simply replacing the antenna with the new one improved things a lot. How to test if the receiver is uh, correctly damaged, not damaged? Well, you just have to try with the different receiver. You cannot really do any kind of the diagnostic on the receiver because this is just too integrated, too small and uh, hobbyists do not have equipment to check if this is uh, this is working like it should be you might check if the transmitter the receiver is really putting some any kind of telemetry downlink with some kind of a radio spectrum analyzer or rtl sdr dongle or whatever but you will not really be able to troubleshoot the receiver just like that so the simplest way to to check is to replace the receiver. If, for example, you have a few models and only one model is having problems with telemetry loss, that means that probably the receiver in this model or the antenna, but this, this thing you can actually visually inspect, is damaged. Just check with the different one. If, however, if, however, you are having problem all the time with almost everything or at least two models, Ma this module, this module over here um, is damaged. I probably, by using the damaged antenna on the adaptive mode, uh, did something terribly wrong to either the power amplifier or something else on the RF uh, circuitry of, the, of this particular R9M. This is the, this, that was the antenna I was using. It was just Chipped, the radio signal was weak, so the 
the R9M was boosting power to compensate for that, so the link was working. Link was working, but it was always working uh, in the one watt mode, which was putting a lot of stress on the power amplifier and everything over there. And just probably something got damaged inside. When I replaced this module with the new R9M, all really all my telemetry lost problems were gone. Immediately, not a single telemetry lost only after I replaced the module. But this is this was let's say the last the most expensive, the most expensive part of how to of my troubleshooting of my problems. So first check the antennas if they are not bended, if they are not damaged, if they are not cut, they are chipped. The connector actually is in the socket on the receiver and flash the firmware one more time. If this not work, then check the transmitter antenna. If this really looks like a solid antenna, if there are, it's not like loose anywhere. If there's any sign of the loose connection, or for example, anything looks damaged inside of the SMA connector, replace the antenna. The damaged antenna will cause problem. It's not worth using the damaged antenna. If then the telemetry problems are still there, differentiate with the different receiver if then uh, still everything fails i'm afraid you will have to replace the transmitter itself because from time to time even this thing can go down and for example in my case it just went down it's really it's working for like 95% of the time, but then you are, at least this, this, this one of mine, but then like 20 meters from me, it goes into a fail safe, something strange is happening, telemetry is lost all the time. With this one, absolutely, absolutely no problems. Um, that's all for today. Until the next one, bye bye.